Luther Levitt Martinez here to introduce you to a couple of new markers that Neuland has recently come out with and to show you what you can do with them. So let's check out the new Neuland Fine One Flex. Talk about tiny. If you're looking to add any brush lettering style that you know how to do, whether it's brush letter, sign painter, wacky western, any of those lettering styles that you can do with a brush. Here's a little bit of sign painter for you. Um, let's see, we've got some wacky western. You can add any of these types of lettering styles, including the very basic architect. Great for sketch noting. Next up, we have the Fine One Art Marker, which does some really wonderful line work, illustration. You get a nice variance of line. You can use it for brush lettering, but one of my favorite lettering styles to use it with is called Twinkle. This lettering style was designed for this marker, and you can check it out at Zandra Dirk's website. This, this marker is loved by many illustrators. Also great for sketch noting. But if you want to bring it up a notch, you can use the Neuland Twin one. It has two different nibs. You've got the wedge nib and the brush nib. Now it's slightly smaller than the art marker, so I'll show you what it would look like if I were to use the actual guidelines. It works, it's just a little bit thin. Oop, I had a little bit of a... But you get the idea. Beautiful lettering. So here we have the twin one. And it comes with the brush marker. And then, of course, the original art marker number one. And notice how the letters here are just slightly thicker. And this is the number one art marker. But what you may not know is that there is a fifth brush lettering marker from Neuland. Yes, it's new. It's the Neuland Big One Art. Yeah. It's the marker we've all been waiting for. And even though the Neuland hand lettering learning pad to go was designed for all of these brush markers, you can use it with the big one too. And let me show you how. You are going to use the baseline is going to be the same. Your X height is actually going to be the entire height here where it was the A center. The A center height is going to go all the way up to the next baseline. And your D center height is the X line uh, from below. So there's your D center, your baseline, your X height, and your A center. If you're wondering what does all of this mean, you can check out Unlock Your Neuland Markers where I go through the anatomy of a letter, anatomy of a marker, and I teach you brush lettering, Neuland hand, how to write fast, <laughs> and Roman hand. So anyway, back to the big one. You're going to hold it just like you did with all of your other markers. It's got the great ergonomic grips, the nose, the nib is built almost exactly like the number one art marker, and you can still make the wonderful same letters that you made before, but now much bigger. And so here is the answer to brush lettering uh, titles for your charts, or if you want to do a big banner, it just makes the most luscious, gorgeous lines. So whether you're scaling up for charts or scaling down for sketch notes, Neuland has the right marker for you.